Hey Spartans, welcome back. We hope you're having a great day today. So today we're going to be working on some bowling that you can do at your house. You can either roll underhand or throw it overhand. We only get two tries. We're going to try and keep it as close to normal bowling as possible. I just happen to be using these indoor snowballs. It's what we have, but you can use socks or if you have a regular ball at your house, you can use that. And remember, before we do any of these activities, you always ask for permission. All right, so today, guys, what I want you to do is I'm using cones for my bowling pins, but you can use whatever you have. Uh, you can use empty Coke bottles, water bottles, whatever you have. And I would recommend socks. That way you don't tear anything up. But if you have a ball and you get ask for permission, let's do that. So let's give you a minute to go get that equipped. All right, guys, so I've got my lane set up here. I've got my boundary line that I'm going to try and stay behind. So what we're going to work on is I'm going to do the shift. Is our underhand first, and then we're going to start. Start at the top, come down, and release. And then for our overhand, we start at our waist, come up, and then we're going to top. Now, an overhand toss, we're going to talk about a high release for a farther ball, or a lower, lower release for a closer ball. So if you're overhand, you want to release it kind of lower, and then you're going to make it harder. For an underhand, you want to kind of release it later as well, so you can get a smooth roll across the floor. I'm going to do it a few times just as a demonstration. Start with underhand. Do my two rolls. Oh, it's okay, guys. We'll skip and go get those. Remember to set your stuff back up. Go all the way over here and get my other one. Skip back. Now we'll get ready for our underhand. I'm going to take a step back and we'll see how we're probably going to do it in the middle. Step, throw up, get the target. I guess I'll skip again and go set it back up. Or you can use whatever motor skill that you like to do best. Alright guys, now let's do it. Alright guys, once again we had a concert set up. Now I'm going to go. I have one minute. I'm gonna bowl as many times, or roll as many times as I can in that one minute. Say I roll one time and I knock two cones down, or for you, you may knock two water bottles down, that's two points. What you're gonna do is use any locomotive skill, go set those cones back up, water bottles back up, go retrieve what you just rolled, so your, paper, your balled up sock, go back to your start line and do it again. So remember, if you knock down two in one roll, that's two points. Then you put those back up, go roll again. However many you knock down, you add that to the two points from your first roll. And you build on that all within one minute. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna start the time. And I'm gonna start at this red line. About right here. Okay guys, so here we go. Three, two, one, go. So now, I got two in the first round and one right there that's now a total of three points. 30 seconds left. It's four. It's five. Now I got five points and I'm getting tired. That's seven. Ah. Oh. Oh, that was a close one, Coach. All right, guys, time's up. I got seven points there. I'm going to see how many you can get in one minute. All right, guys, if you want to keep doing that activity, you can keep doing it. Remember, if you want to have that 30-minute time frame for your next class, do it in the afternoon. Do it with a family member. Do it with a brother or cousin, anybody, okay? But make sure that you remember you remember the cues that we went over before doing the activity, okay guys? We'll see you soon.